In this video, I will be showing you guys how to download RetroArch on your iPhone or iPad without jailbreak. RetroArch allows you to run any retro games on it with advanced features like shaders, netplay, rewinding, next frame response times, and many more. So the first thing you guys need to do is go into Safari. And what you guys are going to do is type in RetroArch.com if you haven't already. And so this is the web page that RetroArch is. And what you're going to do is just ignore this ad over here and scroll down until you see get retro arc so click get and then you'll need to keep scrolling down and you'll see all the supported platforms so keep scrolling down until you do see ios so you can see it over here this for mac but we're going to look for ios slash apple tv and we're just going to click on download ios 11 and later so click download here and then just click download here so while RetroArch is downloading, you will need to sideload this specific IPA without a computer. And to do that, we can use Scarlet. So you can just type in usescarlet.com, but I already have it open. And what you're going to do is scroll down all the way and click on install here. Ignore the ad. Click on install. And then you're just going to click on direct install at the top here and then you'll get a countdown so just wait for the countdown to be done and then you'll see open this page in itunes click open and then you'll see hop hop2.usescarlet.com would like to install scarlet click install and so now that scarlet has installed just go into settings here and then you're just going to go to general which i'm already in and you're just going to click on vpn and device management and then click on the actual developer profile. So you're just gonna click here, click trust, click trust. And now that it's trusted, what you guys can do is just click on Scarlet. And then you can set notifications if you want. I'll click allow here. And what you're gonna do is just click on this middle icon in the dock right over here. That looks like an install button. And then click the install button at the top here. And what you're going to do is just look for the IPA. So it should be in recents. If it's not, click browse at the bottom and just look for the IPA. But for me, it's in recent. So I'm just going to click on the IPA here. And then you'll see this download bar here. And sometimes it does go down because I've seen it go from 37% down to 25. And that's all normal. Like right over here, it just dropped here. That's normal. Don't worry. And since RetroArch is a pretty big app, you guys do need to wait quite a while. For me, I waited about two minutes the first time I did it. So just be patient. It does take quite some time and I'll be back when it's done. And once it finishes, you'll see localhost.usescarlet.com would like to install RetroArch. So click install here and you'll see it start to install over here right next to Scarlet. And this also does take quite a while as well because this is a gigabyte app. So just keep waiting and I'll be back when this is done as well. So now that it has installed, you're just going to click on RetroArch over here. And then just click allow over here. And this is the entire interface and you can see how it all looks over here and everything is set. You can load cores, you can load content, you can do all this stuff here. You can download add-ons and everything. Also, if you guys want to avoid any revokes with this app, you guys can watch the video in the top right that will show you how to avoid any revokes and make sure that your apps continue to work like RetroArc. So I highly recommend everybody does watch that. And if you guys want to see a video on how to fully set up RetroArc, leave a like and a comment down below saying that you guys want to see it and I'll make a video on it as soon as possible. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.